Die Einbindung von PC-Funktionalität The integration of PC functionality in a control program offers a variety of benefits for the overall automation task. You can easily implement compact automation solutions in one device. What's more, complex functions and solutions for automation already exist today in many high-level languages or are being newly developed in high-level languages. With Somatic ODK 1500S Open Development Kit, you have the option of developing high-level language applications and integrating them into the S7 1500 software controller. Somatic ODK supports your development tasks with pre-configured C++ templates and makes the most important functions available for loading the application directly from the controller. ODK applications exist for the Windows environment and the real-time environment. The use of high-level languages such as C++ in the Windows environment always affords you an advantage if you wish to use Windows functions or Windows software directly from your control program. Examples of this would be a direct connection to an SQL database, the exchanging of vast amounts of data, PC hardware connectivity such as printers, scanners or imaging systems, and the integration of complex protocols. The use of high-level languages in the real-time environment always makes sense for you if the source code is already available. You can simply reuse it and save yourself the costs of a completely new development. Platform-independent development is also an advantage, as here you can simply adopt the central functions and you are not dependent upon the target system. A significant difference between the two types of applications is the call-up behavior. An ODK application is executed in a Windows environment asynchronously to the CPU cycle. In other words, in the running of our Windows functionality, we have no real-time influence whatsoever. We can invoke up to 32 functions simultaneously, and these are completed according to the first-call, first-service principle. We will look at what this means in a flow diagram. Each function is executed in one single thread. Each thread has the same priority, and the coordination is managed by Windows. Thus we have no possibility to influence the priority from the controller side. That is why it is also not possible to interrupt a function that is already running by means of another function. The other function cannot begin until the original function has been properly completed. It is a whole different situation with real-time applications. Here an ODK application is executed synchronously to the CPU cycle. The running function in this case is on the same priority level as the module being called up. And here we have the option of interrupting a running function with a function of a higher priority. But that's enough of the basics. Let us now take a look at the relevant steps in the development of an ODK application. The Windows application Microsoft Visual Studio is used as a development environment. As a real-time application, we use Eclipse, which is already available in the Somatic ODK scope of delivery. Somatic ODK provides a C++ template for each of the two development environments, already containing all the necessary interfaces and folders. Thus you can immediately begin with the definition and implementation of your application. Here in this template, there are two key files that are important to you. Here, on the one hand, we have an ODK file, which controls the basic routine characteristics of the ODK application and defines the interfaces and functions. The generation process using the ODK file creates an SCL file that you can import into the TIA portal for further editing there. The second file is the CPP file, your actual project file. This file contains the actual function code. The generation process using this file creates executable files that you can load either into Windows or directly into your CPU program. For Windows, you receive a DLL file. For real-time applications, there is an SO shared object file.
You then need to copy both executable files to the target system, for example, to our open controller. You copy the Windows DLL file to the program data folder ODK1500S under Windows. You transfer the SO file directly to the internal RAM of the CPU by means of the web server. You integrate the SCL files in the TIA portal as external sources and use them to generate function blocks for calling up the ODK application or for running the individual functions. You can connect these function blocks at will, integrate them into your program, and finally load the finished program into the open controller. And with that, we've now already covered all the relevant steps to creating an ODK application. Before we finish up, let us take another look at the most important differences between Windows applications and real-time applications. For a Windows application, we use Microsoft Visual Studio as the development environment. We receive a DLL file as an executable file. We have no real-time behavior and our ODK application is run asynchronously to the CPU cycle. For a real-time application, we use Eclipse as the development environment, which is already available in the ODK scope of delivery. We receive an SO file as an executable file, and, as the name implies, we have real-time behavior, and our ODK application is run synchronously to the CPU cycle.